Hello, Dallas Council again from Amco Transmissions of Venice and today we're going to talk about what it takes to do a good and complete tune-up on your car and this may vary depending on the age of your vehicle and the type of ignition system that you have but today I'm going to cover what is involved in a good tune-up on electronically controlled vehicles, the OBD2 systems which is from 1994-95 on up until the present day. So the very first thing that we're going to talk about is your vehicle spark plugs. Every vehicle, no matter the age or no, no matter the ignition system, is equipped with spark plugs. We are still using them today. At some point in time, we may stop using them as technology continues to advance. But this is applicable on every vehicle. And unfortunately, a lot of people think that a tune-up just consists of replacing the spark plugs. What I want to tell you today is there is a lot more involved in order to do a good and complete tune-up. So next up is the ignition wires or cables. Um, these are important to replace as part of the tune-up because this is what the electricity actually flows to to create the spark for the spark plug to then combust in your engine. So these receive and fire as much as the spark plug if not more. So always important to replace them as part of a good and complete tune-up. The third component is what they call the ignition coil. This is an electronic piece that creates a spark that travels through the wires or cables that I just showed you, ultimately ending at the spark plug to make spark to combust in your engine for it to run. There are actually two different types of systems. This is called a remote coil system. So in other words, this coil runs all six, in this case it's a six cylinder, um, all six uh, spark plugs and the cables travel to the spark plugs. The second kind of system, and is the system that we are now seeing more and more on late model vehicles, is an individual coil for each plug. These are a lot more costly to replace. Um, not always is it necessary to replace them uh, as part of every tune-up. Um, these actually sit on top of the spark plug no matter how many spark plugs you have. You have it's called a coil over plug system. So this sits on top of the spark plug. This is what generates the spark and it does it individual for each cylinder. We do see these failing. We only recommend to replace these and the remote coils at the time that there is a failure in this area. So that is not necessary to do as part of a routine and basic tune-up. Um, what is necessary is always the cables that I just showed you, obviously the spark plugs. We are normally recommending that at that same interval in time you replace your fuel filter, air filter if you have not done it recently, and we also recommend that you do an induction system service which essentially gets rid of all that additional carbon that's built up in the engine which is what causes your spark plugs to miss and fail uh, to begin with so you always want to make sure that you are at very least putting a gas treatment in um, definitely recommend doing a good and proper induction service to make sure that you're not having uh, issues with the spark plugs at a shorter amount of time than what you should be so again the misconception is that a good tune-up costs you know forty fifty bucks and only consists of replacing the spark plugs in reality is it a bit more expensive because there are more components involved so always better to do it right the first time than having to repeat and do it a second time so again dallas council amco transmissions of venice thank you for tuning in if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the field below or if you have a video you'd like to see us do also leave that in the comment section we want to answer any questions that you have and make videos that help you out so thank you very much have a wonderful day